going on, everybody? Dogman Dan here. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 demo. Just the demo. I saw that there's a demo, so I said, "What the heck? I'm going to play the demo uh, and see." Because it's something that was interesting. I see a lot of positive reviews on it. On 2015, 2014 had some issues, but uh, I wanted to try it out, and so yeah, you guys are here with me. So let's go ahead and give it a run. New start. Here we go. While we wait for it to load. It's always nice to find uh, games that you're interested in having actual demos available to test before you buy. Try before you buy if you'd like. Okay, the tutorial, first few jobs. Phone rings. That's where we get our jobs from. The phone. And here it is. Okay, XP, right. Reno Piccolo. Car is hard to control. List provided. Yeah, let's take the job. Now, we don't have to keep going back to the phone, though I'm pretty sure it's going to keep ringing. The orders will sit there um, until it is time to get another car. So there's our car that we're working on. Let's see. Nothing there. Let's, uh, yeah, inventory. I, K. Let's go ahead and take a look and open the order and see what we've got. The repair order. Minimum part condition required to fill each order. Right, so. Outer tie rod. Outer tie rod. Okay, so that's going to be there, maybe. Shush over there. Let's take a look at the car condition. You know what? We can't look at it. What we have to do is look at the car and move it to one of our lifts. Because it's a tie rod. So let's move it to the left lift. And let's lift it up some more. Let's take a inspection, maybe? Can we inspect? Can we see the condition? There we go. We can look at conditions. 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 There's the bad boy right there. Tie rod right there. Okay, so let's get to parts disassembly. Disassemble. Let's come out here. Not the best idea to have the tires up so high and remove them because I am not Superman, but hopefully we won't drop them. Okay, so next up we're going to take off our caliper. Get in there, get those couple of screws out, and we'll take off our brake pads, we'll take off our ventilated disc. Quite honestly, I think I want to actually need it to be up so high. Let's go ahead and push that back down a bit so we can work from a regular angle. I'm hurting my back, you know? Alright, let's get back down in here. So we want to take off the front drive axle. We'll unscrew that. And then we'll get in here, get the wheel bearing hub, front wheel hub. It's got a couple screws on it. And we should be able to get to the back of this now. Okay, so there we go. So let's take that dirty tie rod off. That nasty broken tie rod. I'll leave that over there. Come over here to our computer. Right? Yeah. Car parts. Okay. Running gear. Ah, let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Outer tie rod. Yes. There we go. By the outer tie rod. Let's get back in here. 
assemble mode. Arts assembly. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's use the good one. Or we could be a shady mechanic and use the old one and charge them for the good one. Mm. Front wheel hub. Car dealers would tell you that the whole thing that needs to replace because it's all bad. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get inside there. There we go. A bearing. I didn't really need to take off the axle, but you know. I is stupid sometimes. Insulated disc, yes. Put the brake pads back on. Nice little brake pads. Put the calipers back on. Wrench that back in. Put the rims back on and the tires. And we'll go ahead with a standard setup as such. And we should come out of there. And if we look at our open repair order, we have a green, yes, $21, $41. So we make like, yeah, okay. Made 20 bucks off of that. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. All right, let's try this again. Uh, what do we have? We have repair all running gear faults. Uh huh. Replace all filters. Let's take the replace all filters. Because that's easy. The Royale Bianco. There goes my phone. Hmm. I don't know that number. Okay. So we need to look at the repair order. So we need air filter, fuel filter, oil filter, a little bit of everything. Alright. Why doesn't it stop? Just let it stop! Well, you know what? Nobody's going to pick it up because we don't know who it is. Uh, let's move the vehicle yet again. Shush over there. Let's go to the right lift this time. Open up the hood. Now. Let's go in. Air filter. I'm assuming there's clips on the back. Air filter condition, 5%. Take that bad boy out of there. Now. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can... Get me back, mate! Get me back! Ah! Let's go take a look back in here, see if we can find. Where does this weird looking car have? The examiner, there we go. Part diagnostics, yeah, I know, I got it. Okay, there it is. If we can get underneath there and see it. No, no. See it? See it? There. The angles are kind of weird to do this, aren't they? Huh? Let's do that. Let's remove that fuel filter. Okay. Is 
these rims a little dirty. I'll tell you that. Alright, let's go here. Oil pan drain. Now, his oil was clean, so I don't know why they're making us do it, but okay. Alright, open oil. Open order. Air, fuel, and oil filters. Let's go get those from the shop. And overall, the game uh, seems to play pretty well here. Let's see. Let's go all. I wonder if I could type in filter. Haha! -ha. Let's buy one of those. Let's buy one of these. And an R4, because that's what it was. Alright. Let's come back over here. Let's get underneath. Let's go to assembly. Maybe? Assembly mode. Replace with the good filter. All right. Let's get rid of the car body. Assembly mode, fuel filter, put that new one on, air filter, put the cover on, really how can the cover go bad, clip A, clip A, A, I didn't think, okay, I guess you could replace them, sure. Okay, then go back to disassemble, because we need to put oil in the car now that we empty the oil filter, so let's dump some in there. Let's check the dipstick, right where it needs to be, right in the center, in between the min max. All right, all right. Let's close the hood and let's open up our order. Now, everything looks green. Looks like we just made one hundred and thirty-two dollars. Bonus for completion. Bonus for completing a job. Really, we only made like sixty-six bucks. Finish the job, and that's it. That seems pretty interesting. It works pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Uh, I know there's some other things you can do, some customizations I saw. There's like a DLC for customizations. Might be something that I'm interested in doing. Uh, if you guys want me to continue on this, maybe I will pick this up. Let me know in the comments below. It seems like a pretty cool game. Uh, pretty awesome, actually. I mean, in terms of, you know, getting to play around with the car and without breaking your own car. That type of stuff. Anyway. Until the next episode, if we have one, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching, as always.